Hey, this is Smith, and you're listening to my iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. Um, before we start, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having me on tonight to talk about my new single, Lemon. Um, okay, so I'm going to start the questions, and we will start with an easy one. Okay, this question was sent in from Jennifer from Dallas, Texas, and she says, My family loves lemon. We hear it on our station in Dallas all the time, and it's so different. What's your favorite fruit? Um, okay, well, first of all, Jennifer, thank you so much. I'm so glad you all love it. And uh, it's a huge compliment for somebody to say that uh, something you've done is a little bit different because there's so much great stuff out there right now that um, that's, that's awesome to hear. So thank you. And my favorite fruit is watermelon. Um, I eat it every day for breakfast. And... I like bananas too, but not like just raw. I like to, you know, have them in like a smoothie or something. So my favorite straight up fruit would be watermelon. Andrea from Cherry Hill, New Jersey asks, who do you text the most with? Uh, Okay, but well, before I answer that, let me say that I know where Cherry Hill is because I lived in Alpine, New Jersey for a little bit and I loved it. It was an awesome place to live, super green and beautiful and but like close to the city. It was great. So um, and who I text the most with right now is um, I would have to say that's probably an artist named Sammy Thompson. I've been working with her for a couple of years, but right now we're working on her album and um, I'm producing it and, and co-writing the, all the tracks on it. And so uh, there's always a reason for us to be communicating all the time, really. <laughs> um, ideas going back and forth and, and such. Um, so yeah, Sammy Thompson, that's who I text the most with. Okay, Carolyn or Caroline from Cairo, Egypt asks, what inspires your songwriting? Um, I think uh, the, the biggest inspiration, what, what starts every song is having like an emotion of any kind um, in relation to things that are happening to me or happening to other people or things I read about or see or hear or learn or whatever that is or experience myself or um you know nature there's all kinds of things and then but then like that inspiration to turn that into that emotion into an actual song um the challenge of that in itself is kind of inspiring as well as like finding a way to say it say it or create it um or produce it that has uh, maybe been done before, but is slightly different. Has like you're giving everybody something kind of new, uh, kind of interesting, maybe not revolutionary, but at least like a fresh, a slightly fresh take on it. So then there's that challenge, and I think that's kind of inspiring too to go through those um, steps and get to that end, hearing it like go from your head to actually existing is pretty awesome that part and then um i'm always inspired by artists other artists that um came before me that are here now um that are brave and passionate and honest in their work um i find that like incredibly inspiring as well so yeah thank you Grace from Columbus, Ohio, the Buckeye State, <laughs> asks, how did Lemon come together? Um, okay, true story, really easy answer. I was having an argument with my partner, and uh, I went to write. I pulled my notes up, and I just was typing lyrics out, and everything I, I wrote was dumb <laughs> and seemed boring and sort of melodramatic and self-serving, and and so I decided to try to like, um, you know, you know, flip it and 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 write from their perspective and like what it would be like to deal with me. And then I started doing that, and that was kind of painful. And so I was like, you know, maybe I need to like soften this fall here with like uh, 
a little padding and in the form of a metaphor. And so then lemon was the first like idea that came to to mind and uh, I wrote the lyrics from there there was like plenty to pull from in terms of uh, relating things to myself from that and then um, once the lyrics were there the the melody sort of sang itself to me and um, then it was really easy to create the track and um, produce it from that point it, it, it sort of you know sort of produced itself really Mary from Minneapolis, Minnesota asks, uh, who would you most like to collaborate with? Well, I would like to collaborate with so many people. Um, there's so many great artists out there. But if I had to narrow it down and say, like, one person I'd really love to collaborate with, I'd have to say Madonna, hands down. Um, she is, I think, such an inspiration. She is such a great songwriter and... Uh, an amazing singer she's innovative and dedicated and passionate and she's broken down so many barriers for women in music um so it would be an incredible honor to to work with madonna in any any capacity okay so rose from davenport iowa asks what i think is a pretty great question she says is the reason you started in music still the same reason you're in it today? And uh, I can so easily answer this, no, not at all. I mean, I although I grew up in a musical family um, and I was writing songs from the time I can remember, really, um, I, I, at first I, my only focus was to be famous. And then it was write something current and trendy and um and that's a hit so that you can be famous and, and that was my goal which just completely suffocated everything creative inside of me at the time and I just didn't know that so slowly it wasn't working and it, and, and I realized it wasn't going to be enough anyhow and uh, I took a step away for a second and what really brought me back to it was the music itself and um, being able to have a lot of control over what it sounds like and, and what it comes out like, um, creating the track, uh, creating, producing it, and, and writing it um, became so exciting. Like, I'm so passionate about that part of it, uh, whether it's for myself or for somebody else. It doesn't really matter. Just, just you know, creating is, is so exciting for me that that is, um, a hundred percent why I'm in it today. Okay. Jenny from Winnipeg, Manitoba asks, what is your most used app on your phone outside of text messages? And this answer is not sexy, but it's the truth. It is Instacart. That is the app I use the most. Instacart. Okay, so Lauren is smart from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, because this is a question that, you know, is weird. So you want to answer it. So it's how many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in one sitting? Um, well, I don't eat chicken. Um, so I don't know, but I did eat chicken in the past. So I'm thinking like going to like chicken nuggets in the past. Um, I don't know. I'm a really slow eater too, like incredibly slow. Like, in fact, I try to avoid eating with other people because I'm so slow. So probably not many <laughs> in an hour. I don't know. Maybe like if I was like in a competition, like 24 is that a lot? Did I win? I don't know. Kelly from Atlanta, Georgia asks this question that I don't know if any of us know about ourselves. How far can you throw a ball? Kelly, I do not know for certain, but I will say this. I am a Hoosier, which means I'm from Indiana, which is the basketball state everybody knows. So, of course, I played basketball in high school, and I can still, like, get a three-point shot in 
every once in a while. So that far, however far that is, I do not know. Okay, so Jennifer from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, asks, what is your voicemail message? And it is super, super exciting. And the exciting part about it, I think, is that I lie in it. So the voicemail message is essentially this. Hey, it's Smith. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. And the lie part is I'll call you back because right now I just looked at my phone and I have 166 unheard voicemails. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good with the phone. Not good. Jordan from Tucson, Arizona asks, have you ever bought anything that you shouldn't have, but you did just because? And what was it? Um, yes, I've done that multiple times, many times, more than once. But the, the one that like really sticks out in my head is, and, and the most embarrassing part is that I don't even remember the name or the, the type of what I'm getting ready to tell you it was, was. But it was like essentially like some kind of Vespa mixed with a motorcycle. It seems like a hybrid, like between the two. It was fast. Like I had a helmet and I rode it on the highway. Um, but I totally bought it spur of the moment and thought it would make me feel cool. And what it made me feel was uncomfortable and it messed my hair up. And I didn't like the helmet and um, I was scared because it was scary being on the highway, having like semis pass you on that thing. It was scary. So yeah, I probably only drove it maybe like 10 times and then got rid of it. It was definitely an impulse buy and also a mistake and also scary. I just want to say thank you really quickly to everyone who uh, sent questions in. This was so much fun. I know we didn't get to all of them, but I read all of them or almost all of them, I think. And they were a lot of fun. There were some great questions we didn't get to or that just stumped me that I couldn't even like come up with an answer for. So um, I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank everyone for listening to my Ask Anything chat and my new song, Lemon. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. And I uh, just want to express my deep gratitude to Romeo and Most Requested Life for having me on tonight to answer your questions. This has been a whole lot of fun and super challenging. So thank you.